Hi, this is Shelly from Modern Nurse. I have been a nursing professor and I have taught nursing students about pediatrics and maternal newborn nursing, as well as other classes. And I am going to have a mini lecture for you today about the respiratory system in kids. How to assess a child for respiratory dysfunction. Anytime a child gets admitted into the hospital for a respiratory infection, they are going to need more focused assessment. When you have a child that you see in the hospital and they've been admitted for pneumonia, bronchiolitis, asthma, cystic fibrosis, uh, something like that, you want to spend a really good amount of time doing a focused assessment on their respiratory status. Things that you're gonna be looking at is their respirations. What is the rate of their respiration? Is it faster than normal? You're gonna to need to know the age of the child and what is normal for that child so you can identify the abnormal respirations. Tachypnea is breathing fast. It's an elevated respiratory rate and that we see as a sign of a lot of respiratory infections. How deep is each breath? Is it shallow? Are they filled with a lot of secretions or edema and that's causing them to breathe shallow? Another one is gonna be the ease. How easy are they breathing? Or is there an increased work of breathing where it looks like they're huffing and puffing? And where I work, we call it head bobbing with those breaths. We need to be looking at their retractions. And I mentioned this before. That means lifting up their little shirt, lifting up their pajama top and seeing are they pulling in by their rib cage. Are they pulling in under, right with the bottom of the rib cage? Are they pulling in at the clavicle? Are they using their nostrils, the extra flaring, as another way of helping them? That's all helping them to breathe. Is their breathing labored? Is it continuously labored? Is it just when they're trying to move around or get out of bed? Is it steadily getting worse? Is it a sudden onset? Out of, all of a sudden they have difficulty breathing. While they're sleeping, does it look like they're breathing hard? Do you hear wheezing with the stethoscope or just with your ear? Can you hear that wheeze? Can you hear any grunting? When we listen to lobes, we listen to upper lobes and then we go lower on both sides. So we go up right and left, lower right and left, and then we go under the arm, we listen under each arm, and then we turn them on their back and we listen again on the upper lobes, on the lower lobes. What are you listening? Are you hearing crackles? Sometimes they just need a good cough first and get their cough out and then that upper airway, pharyngeal junk, can clear so you can hear it better. But are you hearing crackles? Are the crackles fine? Are they very coarse? Is there a cough? A lot of kids cough when they're young. They don't have any control over when, how, where. We try to teach them to cough in their sleeve, but kids just cough with respiratory infections. So you need to observe that cough and know, is it a dry cough? Is it a productive cough? Is it a croupy cough where it sounds kind of like a bark? Is it brassy? Does it happen with activity? Is it happening while they're resting? Cyanosis. You're going to look for the color in their face, particularly around their mouth. They can get kind of a dusky or a little bluish, grayish undertone. What's the oximetry showing? Any child with respiratory issues should have a pulse oximeter on. The alarm should be set appropriate to what the provider set it at. If they dip down and then they come back up, that's not as big of a concern. If it's constant dipping down or they're dipping down and staying for minutes before they come up, that's something that you would need to tell the provider about. They would probably need oxygen at that time. 
Is there chest pain when they're breathing? Are they producing sputum when they're coughing? A nice big wad of sputum. What does that look like? How much is it? Is there odor to it or is it just spit? Do they have bad breath? That can be a sign of infection. And is there strider? That's a high pitched wheezing sound. That could be a sign that there's some sort of obstruction going on. Could be structural, could be edema, uh, could be foreign body. So that's my mini lecture for you today on the components of assessing a respiratory function. Do me a favor and hit the like button. And if you would click on that subscribe button, is helpful for me and for YouTube because then YouTube knows they need to be promoting it more. See you next time. This is Modern Nurse.